So we're here today on this fine day here in Tripoli in front of the Radisson Blue Hotel where the third business startups expedition is, gonna, is being held upstairs. Um, quite excited to see what kind of new ideas the entrepreneurs, the Libyan entrepreneurs have. Um, I heard it was quite a, a hit yesterday. Um, a lot of people coming to visit and a lot of new kind of ideas. So let's go up and have a look and see what they have on store without further ado. So as we come upstairs, you can see um, there's a good few stalls going on here. First one we see here, the Libya Economic Empowerment. We have the British Council up ahead here. And um, so it looks like there's a good buzz, a lot of people, a lot of young, I hope a lot of new entrepreneurs that are offering their new services to the, to the country here. Um, you can see a few more here. Um, Another one called Nukta, the, the uh, Go International Governance Academy. Here's probably one to do with looks like cartoons and stuff like that. Ahlan, Samaikum, Shanahalkum. So, as you can see, there's a lot going on this, even before we enter into the place. So, let's go see if we can find the organizer of uh, this exhibition and we'll see what happens. So um, just having a look inside here. Oh, I think I think this is the organizer here. Um, hello, how are you doing? Are you the organizer? Yes. Nice to meet you, Hossam Najjar from the Libya Observer. Can you tell us your name? Mason Mabrook. And are you the organizer the of the event? Product manager of the event. Product manager of <laughs> yeah. the event. Okay, brilliant. So it looks really exciting. Loads of things happening. It's give us, very nice. Give us an idea of what, what's been going on and what the reaction has been. It's been great, actually. Have, they have been saying very good comments about how diverse is the um, expo. We are trying to bring entrepreneurs a new project that has product and services included to enlighten. So we have awareness about what is entrepreneurship. Does it exist here? Okay, yes, it does. There's an expo about it, so come and visit and see. And also the investors. So they have a way to meet other people who has other different ideas and invest in them. This is what the expo is about. So we have like what they have abroad, the Dragon's Den here today, something. the multi-millionaires. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, but we're talking about small, small enterprise okay. and businesses. And can you tell me, I don't, you don't have to say who, but has there been any reaction from investors? Has there been any success case? Yeah, I mean, when you walk in, there are the investors' booth, and we have been trying to tell them to choose some of the project. So some already did, but they will tell who they chose later, later to on. This so we're not going to get a sneak yeah. peek at that, no, okay? No, I'm sorry, but and they so, are giving. And so tell me, like, uh, what about the reaction of the people? Like, how have they... Be, how have they it's uh, very good, actually. I mean, it's very surprising. We did not expect that many of visitors in the first day and the second day. And the comments and people coming up to us and saying, this is how it should be. We should see more of this positivity. Facts that are already on the ground, transferred into a field or a space that can be seen by others. And so this one here is not the first one is it this is the third okay and so did you are, are you guys seeing a growth is there a growth in, in every year yeah yeah actually yeah i mean this is the third under the title of be the change and also um the fact yesterday we had the discussion of the previous participant of the last expo and they talked about how they grow the growth they went through how did the expo help them and where are they at at the moment so it's really brilliant absolutely it's great to hear these kind of success stories this kind of uh, you know m innovation and moving forward for Tripoli and hopefully other cities within Libya as well is there any not only in Tripoli only yeah in no it's really? Libya startup expo so we have a few businesses from uh, startups from Benghazi and we have one from a few from Strata and some from Sabha as well. Brilliant. So it's not really Tripoli. Brilliant, that's great. Here, but no, it's Brilliant, it's great here. No, uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Like the, uh, now we're in Tripoli, maybe in the future we'll see this kind of thing happening in the east, in Strata, in the south, all kinds of cities. Like. Yeah, I mean, I wish we can go further, of course. Uh, some have already spoken about how about we do some in Benghazi, uh, an expo or something. And it's a lovely idea. I hope we can grow more. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. So basically now, since we've got our hands on you here now with us today, can you show us around somewhere yeah. and maybe some of the stalls? And, Let's yeah. go check some of the projects. Okay. So it's basically like a, a quick look around. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm off, the get, off the bat, I don't really recognize. What have we got here? Here. What have we got here? Hello. Hello. 
How you doing? Nice to meet you. Hassan from the Libya Observer. Okay, so we're just here asking about the what's what exactly are the different projects and innovations. So, is this a new one for Libya? Um, actually, uh, yes. Uh, this is the first time that we uh, applicate actually such a program uh, in, the, uh, in the Libyan schools. Uh, we um, uh, we are like me and my partner are teachers. Uh, we uh, first time we started to learn in uh, the schools. We thought like uh, or you, like you can say we think that using these programs are uh, like making the process of teaching more easier and more uh, like as the doctor says more elastic. Uh, so, um, it's what, what, what have you done here? Let us know. Is it a? Comp it looks like something over the computer. Or you want, you want me to show you some sample, samples? Okay, show me a quick sample. Yeah. Uh, this is for uh, KG2. KG2. You all Um, this sample is for, as I said before, is for KG2. Uh, it is uh, <clears throat> for those uh, who are in the level before school, before going to school. So it's uh, teaching them uh, or uh, the letters, okay? Uh -huh. Is this like instead of using a book or something like yeah, that? Yeah, instead so of using a book, okay. instead of uh, making uh, like uh, telling the students, open your books and let's uh, answer the question in the book. So they do it on the board in the form of activities or uh, mm. games. Okay, this is one. I can ask you, was this designed mm -hmm. by you here? Yeah, me and my partner. That's fantastic, brilliant. So uh -huh. you, you actually designed mm -hmm. this? So, this, uh -huh. this is, uh, you should complete this. So when you click on the right answer, A. Uh, now I'm going to show you another sample. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the same aim to teach them the letters, but uh, in, a, in a different way. You click on the icon to listen to the music. Which song? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Are you expecting, is the hope for this to be used in schools then? Are you hoping to? But, but do you, I mean, do you want to see it grow and be used as part of the menhage or part of the for curriculum? Like more, um, like as you say, uh, it became like the, uh, the way that it is adopted by the government, and took uh, its way and be, become more popular, used in the uh, go governmental schools. Um, to make well, listen. I wish you all the luck. Thank you very much. It's a brilliant idea for the children. Thank you. Okay. So that's one very interesting kind of new kind of concept. Where's Mason? Brilliant. That looks brilliant. Yeah. Yes. The most amazing things, yeah? Let's see if it hopefully it gets used in the schools, you know? Yeah, it should be brilliant. What else we'll have we got? How are you doing? Hussam Najjar from the Libya Observer. Oh, thank you. How are you? How are you doing? Uh, thank you. We're here have, uh, just showing people around okay. the, uh, the, uh, the expedition here. Okay. And this is like our present, our uh, our uh, pres our projector is uh, the Technion Group company. It's the first Libyan company to make video games. Really? Really, yeah. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Brilliant. So we make two video games. Uh, one of them is uh, called Nitro Bus and the other called Tempus. The, okay. the tempus is for the younger people, like the kids, because it teach how the fast, how fast, like how they can go through the traps, like uh, the reaction have to be fast to throw, to go through the traps. So, so it's kind of like one of those games that it gives you speedy reaction. Yes, speed yes. Your senses. Uh, give like okay. addiction, uh, addicted to the player to play okay. more and more. Okay. Well, and once, once it's clean, now, I hope they're not robbing cars and no, and it's doing, no, it's like no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. But this, okay. this is but this is Nitro Bus. Nitro Bus is like for the higher ages like plus 16 because there's like action and guns inside of it so like you are there's no blood and gore no blood and gore yeah. just, just uh, normal weapons destruction and stuff like that okay brilliant so tell me guys about yourselves are you computer are you, are you, are you games enthusiasts yourselves we are actually what, gamers what, yeah, yeah gamers yeah and okay, we develop brother that's a gamer yeah I know you guys never move away from the TV screen <laughs> so tell me like what pushed you into this kind of an idea? Is was it out of necessity? Was it something a hobby? Was it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. You're used to yeah, okay. He's, he's, he's the manager. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's hear a word from you. Okay. 
Well, first of all, as uh, gamers and uh, game enthusiasts, um, we actually wanted to be a game producers, not just consumers that actually play games and that's it. We have actually a lot of ideas about games and stuff like that. And we wanted to do something that we like to play and uh, ideas that we have. So uh, that's, a, that's a, the beginning, Yanni. And um, afterwards, we thought about the economic side uh, for uh, Libya, for example. Uh, the game industry market is nearly non-existent. Yeah. Zero exists. So it's a it's another not zero anymore. That's the whole idea, you guys. Well, that's the... put Libya on the mark and the map. That's the exactly. Game. And that in itself is a success. That's yeah. a success yeah. in itself. And we are proud to be the first officially Libyan company to be uh, and working in this field. Well, I, listen. I wish you all the success, guys. Thank you. Very Thank good, you, and I hope to see Thank loads you. more games. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to you again, hopefully next year, when you have a big, much bigger place with 20 games. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, brilliant. Okay, thanks, guys. Okay, so here we are at one, a, a new stall, and I don't know, what kind of stuff have we got here? Hello, girls. How Hello, going? how are you doing? Nice to meet you. Good, so what's your name? Hi. My name is Ahlam Dugbiya. This is my friend, Majduli Mbaka. Brilliant, and yeah. what, what are you girls doing here today? Have you some kind of a new product? What's happening? Yeah. Uh, we have here a natural. It's a natural skincare product. It's all handmade. Uh, we have different types of uh, skincare, such as uh, moisturizers, masks, scrubs, toners, vitamin E, serums. And these are all made here in Libya. All the ingredients. Local okay, local brand. So tell me, is it? Um, was it? How did you guys start off? What? 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 How did it all come about? Yeah. We start uh, mixing our, uh, by our experience, we start mixing our products and it's all natural with the fruits and the oils and something like this here. It's all, all natural without any chemicals. Well, I'm sure now a lot of girls out there ha ha use these kind of products, but it, that doesn't push them to actually make the product. So tell me, where, what was that point for you to go from a user to an entrepreneur? Um, actually, the main idea of our uh, project is to produce a local production with a high quality so and as well as the cheapest one such as the other brands the international one as uh, Dior, L'Oreal, uh, The Body Shop uh, we focus in main uh, thing which is organic without any chemicals that may cause damage to the skin so uh, kind of like The Body Shop but better not better. I'm no, 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 no. I'm not, uh, not like that. Yeah. But uh, the don't. difference here, it's organic. Right. You don't use any chemicals. Okay. Yeah. But you are, you're, you are going to be defeating the body shop in years to come. They're your main competitor now at the moment. We yeah. That. We hope so. Yeah. We hope so. Well, I wish you all the best. Brilliant yeah. talking to you, and it's good to see these kind of ideas. So great to talk to you. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay, so here's something, I'm just walking by and I think I've seen the advertising for these guys before i even seen these guys. So we're going to go over and see what, they're, what exactly they're offering. Hassan Waiko. Nice to meet you, Hassan Najjar from the Libya Observer. Hi guys. So, what is Nukhta? I've heard so much about this, so tell, you tell me. What's yes. Nukhta is a co-working space uh, where it gathers people from uh, various different uh, measures and specialties. Uh, we provide different services such as uh, meeting rooms, cafeteria, printing services, uh, help desk, uh, customer service, uh, parking space, high-speed internet, uh, backup power generator. Brilliant. So, and so, like I, I suppose, advertising is one of your key uh, success stories because there was a lot of talk about it, there was a lot of everything. Uh, how did that reflect and how would you, would you advise other companies to go down that route uh, how did that reflect the business? Did it create new uh, clients? Definitely. Uh, we just started two months ago and everybody we will tell that we just started two months ago, they said that's weird because we feel that we know this company since a long time. We have, we've been very active advertisingly, we did a very nice promotion and everybody knows what Nukhta is. Brilliant. Well, I, as, as I walked by, I knew what Nukhta is as well. So it's great and I wish you all success and you. I hope you do much better in the future. Take care, guys. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Okay, so another brilliant day here, and this time at the exhibition. Really exciting to see all the people, the new ideas, 
the youth, uh, that enthusiasm, uh, the, the, the entrepreneurship, and to see that in Tripoli this, at this time is a brilliant thing to see. Um, it's obviously growing, it's going to be getting bigger every year, and um, with new people uh, after. I didn't see them at the last time, so it was great to see that. So it's been uh, Hussam Najjar for the Libya Observer at the Radisson Blue Hotel here in Tripoli. Thank you.